Hey everyone, I am Amanda from Mandy Lynn Plans. Welcome back for another flip through video. Today we are going to be taking a look at my Hobonichi Cousin of Vec, my January to June. I am sad to say goodbye to this cover, at least for a time being. If you didn't watch my setup video, I will go ahead and link it for you. I am downsizing my everyday carry a little bit. I will really miss these pockets though. So if I could somehow transfer the pockets <laughs> over to my new one, that would just be perfect. The cover on cover is not negotiable for me. So it just makes it very bulky. But I did want to quickly flip through just so you can see kind of how this six months shaped out for me as a whole, starting with my year at a glance pages. And then I like to use this for school and also birthdays. Then just flipping through my monthly spreads here. I'm not always the best at remembering to go back and look at these and add things to them. I use it more for future planning. So if it's the actual week of here, you can tell <laughs> quarantine. So like absolutely nothing going on basically. Um, I think things were only starting. I should have done a better job of marking like when quarantine ended and when it started. We got word in March that school was gonna be canceled for the rest of this year. So anyway, we were, we did meet here. So we must have been out of quarantine and then things picking up a little bit more in June here. And then I did not fill out July in this book. I decided to do it in my new book. I know that some people do that differently, but for me, it would have been just a waste of time to put July in. So then jumping to the weeklies, these are what change the most for me. Now for a while, I think I was in a good groove and I was basically doing something very similar. This was the week that we had my grandpa's funeral and so I did not get around to planning it. I did go back and add in these things because I wanted to remember why this was it basically blank, but I am okay with that having a blank week here or there. And then just kind of more of the same here for a while. Really found a groove with what I was doing here at the bottom doing that for several weeks. I love looking back and just seeing. Kind of what was going on in everything. Some of the busier weeks here. This was the week right before quarantine. And then this one, so I think this was spring break. And then we got quarantined sometime in here. So then I was really filling it out more with work type things. This one I was really over the normal and I decided to do more decorative things. So that was fun and definitely out of my norm. I did that with this week as well. So just some more functional things here. Back to using a full kit and some really fun shimmering ink. This was a really fun week. And again, here's another shimmer ink. So I had lots of sparkles going on in May and then with Cinco de Mayo I guess this would have been April I saw the May but this would have been April May started here so the quarantine and everything okay so here I did actually write that our statewide stay-at-home order expired and phase one was underway of getting everything back to normal but it's still not quite normal And here I started experimenting with more of the clear stickers. I hadn't really done that much, and so that was fun, and using them with the icons. And then I did a pen only. It's not actually pen only. Pen only and then script stickers and some washi tape, so that was fun. That was the first time that I had done this in this book. I used to do that at least once a month or so. And then this past week, I did not get around to filling it out and I'm okay with that. Some weeks are like that. So I didn't go in with all of my pen things that I normally do for the week, but I am content just leaving it the way that it is. And then my daily section definitely has the most changes. Here I was trying to really focus on my goals and I was using it to just kind of do whatever. Just lots of lists, some journaling, my ideal week I kind of did. I never really did for new release week. 
I skipped over several days of just journaling and then I kind of went back to doing sort of the normal day per page. You see that sticker? Yeah, it's cute, huh? It's pretty. Yeah, it is pretty. Oh, I'm not sure what that is. It might be a cat. You might be right. And then I was testing out my new pens that I got from Tokyo Pen Shop. Still more of the day per page. I was doing this for a while. I really found a groove. I was doing just different washies and then my brush pens with my daily lists. It was really fun for me to pick out different washi combinations and trying to match my pens. So that was fun for a while until I got my simplified daily planner and then I started using this section solely for journaling and scripture writing. So I'm actually not going to flip through anymore. The rest of this is just very personal. But that's one of the things that I love about the cousin is how you can really make it whatever you want it to be. As always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time.